Lately, we've been getting a lot of submissions in our You Ask, We Answer inbox regarding carry-out alcohol sales and why convenience liquor in grocery stores and sales at 9 p.m. Alyssa Lyons takes a look through Wisconsin's history to find out why that is here in Eau Claire. Alcohol. It's become part of the definition of Wisconsin, and more so Eau Claire over the years. Consistently placing in the top 10 drunkest cities in America list, given this culture, it's a wonder why packaged alcohol sales end at 9 p.m. But what many don't know is that long before the rule was a state statute or a municipal authority, the early hold on the sales was considered a blue law as a way of altering German immigrant behavior in the late 1800s into the 20th century. The blue laws were meant to force these new immigrants to um, behave in ways that the moralists thought were proper. And especially by cutting off the bars and cutting off alcohol, they were meant to force the immigrants to go to church on Sunday mornings and to theoretically rest on Sunday so that they would be rested and ready for work on Monday. According to Ducksworth Lawton, progressive ideals regarding alcohol sales continued into the Prohibition era, during which Wisconsin was the second state to ratify the 21st Amendment, eventually giving the state permission to regulate alcohol. Then in 1981, Wisconsin alcohol-related statutes were consolidated, in turn prohibiting retail sales of wine and liquor after 9 p.m., limiting the sale of off premise beer sales between midnight and 8 a.m. and to authorizing municipalities to regulate beer licenses. Because of those statutes, the Eau Claire City Council was able to limit retail beer sales, prohibiting it after 9 p.m. until noon on Sundays. That was put into effect in 1993. Nowadays, the order has changed to allow beer purchases as early as 6 a.m. However, 28 years later, that pause still remains with some arguing that that time should be extended. Others say there's still more to be done to combat the drinking culture in the city of Clearwater. We have a lot of alcohol industry here. We have a lot of alcohol around in the community. And anytime you have a kind of saturated environment like that, where you have a lot of places where people can purchase alcohol and imbibe alcohol, then you do see more drinking. All right, thanks, Alyssa, for that story. According to Eau Claire City Attorney, in 2018, 41% of fatal car crashes involved alcohol. Now, that's compared to the statewide rate of 36% during the same year. Also in 2018, the Eau Claire Police Department responded to an average of eight alcohol-related incidents a day.